Hey. <laughs> hey, Libra. Welcome back. Make sure you hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. Let's get into your mid-March uh, message for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Alright, let's, uh, one more shuffle they say. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> let's get into these messages, man. I don't know what's about to come out. But, it, I mean, y'all can have Sagittarius in y'all chart, but something about the time being now, and it's a lucky time for you. Okay? Will of Fortune is here. Something is faded. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. You might have felt like you missed out on something. You might have been chasing something that you thought was a prize at some point, only to realize that you were the prize. So, and this could be the person's energy too. Like they might have looked at you like you were an option or didn't see the benefit in the connection then, but they do now. You got a juggler, somebody that might have been indecisive on offering you something real. They could it could have been something very immature or short-lived, something like that. But uh somebody wants another chance. And it seems like you are seeing yourself in a connection or some type of situation very different and looking at it from a more mature, positive aspect. Um I feel like, Libra, you might have had some unforgiveness in your heart at some point because you may have wanted something to work out and you might have put too much time into it and, you know, felt like, you know, it wasn't getting off the ground, full in reverse, this person is playing with me. But it looked like whatever it is that you missed out on was like the best thing that could have happened to you because it made you who you are today and made you available for something better to come towards you. And it's not just something. It's the thing. It's the thing that you've been wanting. So, and spirit has your back on this. Look like they might have been protecting you from somebody or something here. Yeah, because they, they're preparing you Clarifying the will of fortune is the ooh, king of pentacles here. They're preparing you for something better in your life when it comes to your stability. I would rather take a king that is stable and in his power because I know at some point this king will be this emperor upright. You guys might have saw the potential in a woman or a man that had everything, you know, going for them, like all the potential to be whatever they can be. But they didn't choose that. You know, so no more fixing people in 2022. Um, the downfall of somebody else, the disappointment could have really hurt you and made you want to give up on love or something like that. But nope, continue to build, continue to grow, continue to heal, continue to have patience with yourself, understanding, you know, why things had to happen, lack of reciprocity. This person could have had, you know, some type of issue with partying threesomes I'm hearing or third party situations, something like that. They priorities wasn't together. Not to say that threesomes mean you're irresponsible, but maybe you are not into that. Maybe this person lived a lifestyle that you just wasn't resonating with. Maybe this person doesn't resonate with you anymore. See, why is this judgment here? Hmm. Somebody does want a second chance, but I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like they're offering you what you deserve. It's like the moment you take your mind off something and over it, basically, for the most part, and healed, that's when they want to come towards you. I feel like it. whatever it is that you got, let me just clarify this star because i honestly feel like it got something to do with money it got something to do with money or some type of success that you have yeah i don't like it 
This got something to do with success. And then you got better options coming. Three of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles fell out as well as um, the Ten of Cups with the King of Cups right here that I was holding up with the Three of Pentacles. That came out for the star. So to me, it's like because you're not making them a priority anymore and more than likely stuff elsewhere where they thought the grass was greener, that ain't working out. Shocking, I know, not really, but you know how it go. They want to come mosey posey they ass back to you. Keep this chapter closed. It could be a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio here. Aries as well. Uh, Sagittarius too. Tell me about this King of Cups. It could be a Queen too. I know, fellas, you watch too. But I have no control over what type of card come out. I talk about the energy. Yes. Now, this is the interesting part about this new person. They may start off being sexually attracted to you only, and they may not even be looking for nothing serious until you open your mouth and speak, until you show some type of empowerment, some type of like level of self-love and self-respect that attracts this person to you and make them very curious about you and wanting to get to know you for who you are, not what's in between your legs. Something flipped over here. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Yep. They go from looking at you from a fling, for a fling, you know, for pleasure and passion into something long term. Keep your healthy boundaries up. It's going to pay off. Yep. You may want to give them, you know, a little, you may want to have sex with this person, but don't, don't do it. Hold out as much as you can. Okay. <laughs> it's going to pay off. Yep. Don't even stress about it. Nine of swords in reverse. A lot of you guys may need to change your workout routine or change what you eat to get better sleep or use another tactic to relieve stress. I'm detecting high blood pressure, okay? Yep. Some type of burden is being lifted also that's causing you to have, you know, uh, better sleep at night. Expect communication. <laughs> oh, I like this. You got a few suitors coming towards you. Somebody, a couple of them could be younger than you. Oh my goodness, the love pond is very big for you, Libra. Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands here. I'm seeing a lot of DMs, uh, your phone going off. Something, I don't know, I'm hearing this, but something may go viral soon if you're on social media. Yeah, and for ladies, I'm so sorry that I'm picking up on this energy, but I do. <sighs> Some of y'all may get a dick pic or two. I don't know. I don't know, child. They gonna be happy. Let me just show them a dick and let me see what's it. I don't know what people be thinking about, Libra. <laughs> I don't know what people... <laughs> People be thinking about, but just ignore them, okay? <laughs> I don't know who gets inspired to just, I think, you know what? Libra is where it's at. I like Libra, so I'm just going to show Libra my dick and see what happened. YOLO, you dummy. Like, who does that? That is so stupid. <laughs> okay, yeah. I see a relationship coming out of nowhere. Make sure you pay attention to the red flags. Keep some things to yourself, Libra. Be a little bit more mysterious. People find you more curious. Uh, I'm sorry. They are more curious about you the more mysterious you are. Of course, you have somebody that can't let go. Of course, they want to offer you something. Of course, because you're getting attention from elsewhere. But don't fall for it. If they stabbed you in the back once, they will. If it's over, let it stay over. Okay, all of these options are not going to be the end all be all, but I see one, maybe two being safe. One may be a little more boring. 
that King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles cupping, uh, couple did seem very nice and stable. This may be a good match for you, but this person may be boring. A lot of y'all may go with the friends with benefits that turn into something different. But strength, Libra, strength is what's going to get you the heart of whoever this free-spirited person is. They like a challenge. Ignore me. They like a challenge, though. Can't be too easy on them. Okay, what else are you attracting for March? Conjunction, empower, empowerment, joining forces, focus, concentration, strengths. Hello? Some of y'all gonna really wanna give this person some booty and some dangling, but don't do it. Don't give it to them. Make them work for it. What do you really want? If you want a fling, hey, you gonna, you got it. But if you want something stable and committed and long-term, hold out, resist. Cause you got a fine motherfucker coming your way. Home, family roots, self-care, personal foundations, real estate. Yeah. Some of you guys are really working on your health with the sixth house here. Health diet daily. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> health diet daily routines, uh, service, work habits, pet, fitness, skills, organizations, details. Trust your intuition. Listen to the guidance of your soul. And it looks like it'll work out for you. But resistance and discipline plays a key, a major key in this connection. Continue to take care of your health. It just makes you live longer. It keeps you healthy, of course. It keeps you, you know, in the game longer. I like it. Let me pull one more card. could be attracting a Taurus or have Taurus in your chart, but you should see some increase in your finances or you're going in the right direction to obtain, to obtain, fucking the fuck, to acquire the financial goals that you set out to achieve. <laughs> Material possessions, money, work, income, values, aesthetics, uh, luxury, security, attitude towards possession. So you stay focused, okay? Stay making it about you in a healthy way. And this person is going to fall for you. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.